turn from a Sunday to a Thursday? Uh, it's, um, you, you got no choice. I feel like you have to make sure that um, you, you're dialing on the next opponent, whatever the result was from the past game. You just got to put it behind you um, and try to just build off a of win or loss because, as we know, um, they don't care about the situation. They're, they're, you're going to face up against an opponent what they played a week ago, whatever the case may be. Um, we're ready, man, so we got to be um, ready to go. How much did you guys dive into what went on Sunday and try to take some positives and some progress forward after? Yeah, we took, yeah briefly went on to it a little bit, uh, talked about it, just try to correct the things that uh, obviously that we did ourselves. Um, obviously, they made a lot of plays where they just straight up just beat us. Um, and there's other times where we have um, things that we could have done better to make sure that we don't put ourselves in that situation. So um, once we did that and just talked about those things, um, we flipped the page and went right on to L.A. Matchup-wise, I know it doesn't focus you too much, but Cooper Cup coming back does give them some pretty good options. Yeah, I mean, as we know, I think it was a player of the year in 21. Um, I mean, that's anytime he gets on the field, I don't care if he's limping or not, that he's always going to be a, uh, a factor. So um, they're definitely going to try to incorporate him back into the offense. I don't know how they're going to do it. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's just going to continue to give us another opportunity to, uh, you know, test ourselves. I mean, that's one of the best in the game. Um, so I know that they're looking at it as a challenge in the DB room, but on I end, we're definitely trying to uh, make some plays. Have you done these Thursday night games enough? Uh, what's the most important thing? for you to get your body ready for it? Uh, just recovery, man. You got to make sure you're taking care of your body, getting your sleep um, whenever it's allotted to you. Um, make sure you're eating and still hydrating. And I just feel like the turnaround is so, so much quicker because you build up for a whole week, obviously, for the Sunday games. Um, whether it's preparation, you know, rehab, treatment, whatever your routine is, um, obviously that gets cut a little bit short, so you have to make sure that your body just feels ready to go. You know, might not be able to get the workouts, whatever the case may be. Um, but, yeah, just make sure your body's ready to go, feeling good, so that we can just go execute at a high level. You look into, like, you get a Vinny buy for this, you have to look at the positive. Yeah, yeah. Push through that. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, anytime it's like that, you definitely got to make sure you um, focus on that moment in there. But obviously, getting those dubs and this, these points are crucial because you do, do get that a little bit for sure. Has Matt Stafford changed as a quarterback, or has he just gotten better at the same things he used to be good at as you look at what he did then and what he does now? Yeah, I mean, he's always been pretty awesome. Yep. So he's still doing that. How hard yeah. is this to flip from Sunday to Thursday? Yeah, it's hard, but everybody, everybody's doing it now. So it's part of the gig. Uh, how much? Do you like that you don't have a lot of time to dwell on Sunday's game? Would you like a couple more days, or would you rather just kind of digest that, spit it out, and move on? Yeah, I think we're ready to ready to move on and get back out there as soon as we can. So I think it, it's it's good for us. If Cooper Cup might play. Obviously, that changes what they would do a lot. Mm -hmm. How much do you have to prepare for a contingency if he's there, as opposed to preparing if he's not there? Yeah, I mean these these things happen pretty much every week. Um, so plan for. Plan for both ways. He's obviously, you know, one of the best in, the re in recent history of, of doing it. So he's a he's a guy you definitely need to pay extra attention to. Is this kind of similar to playing planning for your own offense because McVay and Ken KOC are pretty much the same guys? Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say they're the same guys, but they definitely have some similarities in in um, you know offensive structure and play calls and things they're trying to get done. So. Um, you know, I'm with KO though. So <laughs> any extra juice with him this week? You sense anything extra, or is he past that already? Uh, it's it's yeah. still pretty early in the week, so uh, doesn't feel like you know KO's KO's pretty. He's been he's been pretty dialed in uh, this whole year, so I think I think that's not changing. Yeah, if you've done enough of these Thursday night games. What's the most important part of your process to get your body ready for it? Um, I mean, it starts it starts right after the previous game doing something to try to turn your body over. Um, I'm a sauna cold tub guy myself. Everybody has their own their own ways of going about it. Um, yeah, you just got to do what you can do. Person, you've obviously talked about how each year the locker or each season the locker room is different. With with this locker room, like, what is it about it that's made it so easy for like multiple free agents to come in on both sides of the ball and just mesh right away? The locker room seems really close, etc. Yeah, I think. I mean, I, I think it starts starts at the top and then kind of trickles down. The guys you have in your locker room and then the guys you bring in, they kind of come in seamlessly, kind of match, match. I don't know what you want to call it, the chemistry, the vibe, whatever. Um, so it's, you know, guys guys who are here enjoy football and enjoy playing with each other and, and, and competing and, and winning. So when you think of Matthew Stafford, what do you think of him? Um, you know, to me, just playing against him all the years in Detroit, um, I think toughness is the number one thing. Um, you know, alongside just a uh, competitor.
is an all-time competitor and has has the ability to do uh, pretty much whatever he wants with the ball. Um, you know, he's gotten me on a no look before, and we've had games where we've hit him a bunch, and he's always picking himself up and moving on and making plays with his legs. And he's just he's just an all-around um, guy that I have a high level of, of admiration for, for sure. Harrison, how much urgency do you have in a game like this coming off a loss Sunday? Division's tight. Uh, mm -hmm. How much urgency do you put on it? Uh, as much as much urgency as possible. Absolutely. Sunday game. Um, it's a, for sure a challenge, uh, just a quick turnaround because every single week on a normal week is a battle to get your body back feeling good, but uh, so much more on a Thursday. So um, it's just a matter of coaches taking care of us, which they do, and we have to do our part it's immediately after that Sunday game. You have to start working on your body immediately. What is the most important thing for you to get your body ready when you're missing two days of that kind of thing? Um, I say moving as quick as possible. Normally you have the time to get the rest of Sunday off, then get Monday as just a, a movement day, just lifting, and then Tuesday fully off, so you don't get that. So for me, my best thing is to get moving on Monday and get moving on Tuesday, then relax Wednesday, the day before the game, and really just treat it like you're getting ready for a Thursday practice. And that's uh, Thursday practices are normally tough days anyway, so that's just you just have to move your mindset to that. You guys talked a lot Sunday about wanting to dive in and pick that game apart and learn from that game. Mm -hmm. How much faster does that part of it have to happen where you guys want to take notes and make those corrections, but you don't have a lot of time to do it. Yeah, we're really eager to get in here and really fix those mistakes. So uh, Monday was just a lift and recovery day, but um, us on the defense, we got in that film room, told the coaches, let's have a have a meeting real quick and just go through the film and fix our mistakes. And um, people were, were obviously disappointed with the loss, but not down about it. We had to look at the perspective of things that we fixed some mistakes, and that's a win for us. But shoulda, coulda, woulda, and now moving on, we're going to make make those corrections, and we're excited to get back on that field. Especially with the short week, we're excited to get back on it. Are there, you don't want to lose, you don't want to do it that way, but are there positives to be gained for, okay, we're not going to do these things again? Are there right. ways that you can take that as a, a textbook and, and go forward? Yeah, I feel like the only way to move on from a win or loss is to take the lessons from it, and especially after a tough game against Detroit and a loss, uh, we really have to look even more into it. And it's it's really a blessing in disguise because, you know, when you win, you think you're on top of the world and you may look past certain small things, but when you lose, now your human nature is like, let me look at every single small part of this loss that we had and how can I fix it? So um, for us to be, um, what, five and one now, um, when you, at the big picture, yeah, that's solid and whatever, but we know that there's still a lot more games and we just have to continue to fix our mistakes and learn from the wins and the losses. Is it in this world of being an NFL player to make that turn from a Sunday to a Thursday? Uh, I mean, it's, pre it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty tough, but uh, we do the right things. We got the uh, right type of guys in the building to get us a plan to be able to go out there and play with a lot of energy on Thursday. How much have you guys already started to process the things you can correct, the things you can learn from what happened on Sunday? Uh, yeah, yesterday, that was all, what yesterday was all about. Uh, yesterday we was able to think about it and uh, you know be able to flush it, get that out of our system, get ready to uh, play the Rams. We had uh, came in, we watched the tape, and uh, we, we, we just uh, made sure made sure to get that out of our system so we can focus uh, about this game ahead. You sense any extra zip with Kevin with KOC this week going up against his, his old team? Uh, um, no, nah, we, we're not looking at it like that. I think the uh, extra zip is coming from the loss. Um, you know, not playing our standard of ball and uh, being able to go out there on a short week and get the opportunity to get that out of our system. Josh, what does Cooper Cup coming back do for the Rams offense? Um, obviously, he's the uh, highlight uh, of their offense. Um, he's been top three in receiving yards every year. He's been healthy for the past uh, however many years. So um, he's definitely somebody we're going to have to pay attention to. And uh, we, we, we know the case when, when he plays. I know we're not in must-win situation at this point, but you don't want to lose two games in five days, right? Yeah, uh, we don't want that, that loss on Sunday to beat us twice. Um, you know, we, uh, we, we're going to have a good plan. Uh, we're going to be fresh. We're going to be ready to go playing with a lot of energy on Thursday and hoping to bounce back on the winning side of the table. Is sustainable? Oh, of course. Uh, just like when you practice cover two, you practice cover three, you know, we practice turnovers on a daily basis. So when you practice something, when you get good at something, it's, it's definitely sustainable. It's all about uh, just having that mindset. Uh, mentally, um, you know, on a short week, you get lost. 
uh, the film you watch, the type of way you prepare. You know, you could get lost in that, you know, just trying to get your body ready to play. You get lost in the little things that you do on a weekly basis for a Sunday game. So uh, on these Thursday games, if you prepare a little bit better than you think the opponent is, you prepare a little bit better than you should on the Thursday, you should be in a, a good spot. He's not a guy that you have to worry specifically about, but how much does Cooper Cup rejoining the Rams kind of change what they're able to do? Yeah, I mean, he's one of the best. Offensive player of the year, I believe, a few years ago uh, for a reason. And, um, you know, knowing that if he, he is, a, he's for sure playing, right? It sounds like he's going to. Um, obviously, they wouldn't let him out there unless he's 100%. So we know where we're going to see his best. And um, I'm not extremely involved in the coverages on the back end, but I know that we'll definitely have a plan for his uh, playmaking ability. He's, he's a great one. Short week coming off the loss. Do you like, I mean, you don't get to dictate the schedule, but do, do you like you have to put that away quickly? Or would you maybe have a little more time to kind of dive into what we're No, I mean, that's, that's perfect. Um, <laughs> You know, I think it was important too. On these short weeks, you don't have time to get to watch the tape because, you know, Tuesday morning at eight o'clock, we're starting right here on the LA Rams. And so yesterday, uh, we were able to get together as a defense and watch some of the clips from Detroit, so that today when we came in, you don't have you know position coaches or you know coaching up things that happened a few days ago. We can put our full focus on what we have to do on Thursday night. And so I'm really glad that we were able to, to knock that out, watch some film, and uh, you know address some of the problems that came up, so that you know we know it's a copycat league, and so we can make those adjustments. Harrison, was that a uh, impromptu, or is that something you guys went to them and said we want to watch this, or was it scheduled already? Uh, it was not scheduled. We just kind of talked to, as uh, we were doing the lift. Some things came up, and some players were talking, and um, we just figured it'd be better. Why don't we just hash this out? I'll watch it together, and we can get on the same page. Harrison, talk about Kyron Williams. What have you seen from him this year? He sort of stepped his game up this season. Yeah, I think he's he's uh, he's very explosive. I think he's does it well on all, all phases. Um, I think I'm most impressed about how sometimes it'll look like an edge is set and he's still able to give ground and get the edge on, on, on teams in the run game. Um, and also his, his cutback and vision has been very impressive. So this is a player I'm sure that you guys will talk about for years, um, but uh, very impressed. How much urgency do you have in this game since you start 5-0? and You don't want to lose two games in five days now. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know if I think it's urgency because it's a short week, um, regardless of what the outcome was of the last game. Um, it's always a refresh, one one week, one game, uh, one and no mindset. Um, but uh, yeah, I think great perspective. I think I'm, I'm, it's been really cool to see players' responses because I'm sure two months ago, if you asked people in this locker room, would they want, would you be okay with a five and one start? They'd probably say yeah. But the the disappointment and the uh, frustration and the um, wantingness to learn and the wantingness to move forward uh, shows how mature of a team we have and how hungry of a team we have because uh, we know what we can accomplish. Not Here's a lot of room for error in this division either this year, huh? Uh, how, how it's shaping out now, yeah, we have a, we have a really good um, really good group of four teams, and I think that that's uh, – you almost want it that way, you know, to, to, to be the best. You'd want to beat the best on the way there. So um, I'm sure whoever ends up as division champs this year, it will uh, come with a real badge of honor. Harrison, you've done enough of these Thursday games. What's the most important part of your process to get your body ready? Um, that's a great question. Uh, first things first is Sunday night after the game. Let the wife know I won't be around much. <laughs> uh, it started right after the game. You know, ex stay in the stadium, hit extra cold tubs, some Norma Tex, um, hydrate, fuel the body, eat right. Normally after games is when I eat my, the, the shittiest. I eat there. We got the chocolate chip cookies and cereal and all that stuff. Um, this week I cut back a little bit on that. I still had to sulk and emotionally eat a little bit of cookies. Um, but and then yeah, I mean d day starts early in for treatment. I, you know, we didn't have our first thing till I think. 12:30 yesterday, but was in at, at eight or nine to, to get uh, the, the body feeling right. Massage tonight, IV. I mean, all the all the things. Um, and so for some of the younger players, it's cool to have them come up and you hear them talking to the vets in their room about what should I be doing. But it's just there's not a lot, a lot of time. So even though on, on other weeks I might have a 90 minute or two hour massage where I can kind of relax and, and meditate or pray, and tonight I'll be watching two hours of film during my massage, just trying to double up the time. How much has that process changed since you got the lead? You talk about the cold tubs and all the science that's gone into it. Was it that way when you first came in? It, it wasn't because my snap counts weren't what they were. You know, I was a, a rotational defensive tackle in a scheme that rotates quite a bit. So, um, you know, a heavy play game for me would have been upper 20s, lower 30s. Um, that would be a very small snap count for me now. So the accumulation of those snaps over a period, um, I've just learned from other players that have done things. And then everyone's body responds differently. I'm a guy who loves needles, dry needles and acupuncture. My body responds well to that. Some guys not so much. Um, I like the cold tubs. Some guys like the saunas. You know, everyone's kind of got their thing. Um, but, you know, through, through a couple years of trial and error, I figured out what worked for me. And um, sticking to that routine is um, extremely important during season.